Hi, this is Dan Sullivan. I'd like to welcome you to the Multiplier Mindset Podcast. I'd like you to think about something, and that is, in your mind, in your imagination, go back a hundred years. I don't care what age you are, but you have a picture of what a hundred years look like. You've seen movies, you've seen pictures, you've read books that have pictures in them. So back then, a hundred years ago, there were some technologies that were really growing very quickly. And I can give you seven right now that will be immediately recognizable to you. First of all, you had electricity. Now, there had been electricity a hundred years ago, but there were lots of places and lots of uses where electricity wasn't being used. So electricity was a technology that was multiplying very, very quickly. And then telephone. Telephone, only a very small percentage of the population actually had telephones for their own personal use. So many businesses did not have telephones for every person who worked in the business. And so the use of telephones was multiplying very, very quickly, as was audio recordings, which had been around for 30 or 40 years, but now they were multiplying into all sorts of different kinds of uses. Moving pictures, movies, were multiplying. These were technologies that developed in the 1800s, but they became very, very fast-moving and accelerating in the early part of the 20th century. And then finally, there was radio. Radio was just getting started. Very primitive technology, but it started to grow very, very quickly, and this was an amazing breakthrough that you could broadcast speeches and music and news reports from a long distance away. So if you were back there, these would all be talked about as new things, and there would be lots of people who were very suspicious of these new technologies and very resistant to these new technologies. And finally, the two biggest ones probably were automobiles, which were just in their early stages, and also airplanes. And private citizens were starting to fly in airplanes as passengers. So if you had been someone back then who was unusually conscious of what was going on in the world around you because of these seven technologies that I've mentioned here, you would probably have taken a different approach to how you lived your personal life, how you lived your business life, and you would have developed what I would call a multiplier mindset. In other words, that you would say, well, I want to have a future that's bigger than what I have right now. I want a future that's better than what I have right now. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take maximum advantage of these technologies, these seven technologies. And let's suppose that you invested back then and you organized your business in such a way that with each new development of the, just these seven technologies, that you were at the cutting edge, you were at the leading edge, you were paying attention to how life was changing, how work was being done differently, how people were relating to each other differently back then because of these technologies. And you invested your money very wisely, but not only that, you trained yourself to be very, very much on the outlook of the newest thing. So instead of resisting change, instead of resisting the transformations that were taking place around you in your personal life, in your business life, you were actually taking advantage of all these technologies. And then supposing you had a company back then and your company was organized and it was focused in such a way that it could take advantage of these technologies, both in running its business, but also in terms of who you had as your clients and customers, and also in terms of the investments, personal investments and business investments. And then you were able to maintain that for a hundred years. I mean, what kind of business empire would you have today if for a hundred years you could always be taking advantage of these initial technologies? And then, of course, they developed into other technologies, you would have had a multiplier mindset. Now, I'm going to tell you just very briefly how you had to be as a person back then, and I'm going to tell you what you had to be looking for, because a multiplier mindset consists of, first of all, an attitude, and then it consists of a way of something that you're focusing on. So as far as the attitude goes, what you would have had to do a hundred years ago to take advantage of all the technologies back then was you had to be alert, 
So you had to be noticing the new things that were new, better, and different. You had to be curious. So you would have to have an attitude that I'm going to see how these things are being used and how people are benefiting from them. And then you would also have had to be responsive. In other words, you would have had to take actions and make decisions and make investments and take risks. And finally, you had to be very resourceful. So you would have to take advantage of everything you already had as an individual and also as a business and maximize the value to get multiplied by these new technologies. And what you would be looking to do, so those were the attitudes, uh, alert, curious, responsive, and resourceful. But then what you would have to have done is that you would have had to look for four qualities. You had had to look at faster, so you would be interested in everything where you could get results much more quickly. You would have to look for easier, where you could get results with far less effort. You would look for cheaper, so that you could get results at far less cost. And finally, you would have to have been looking for bigger results. So a little bit of effort, a little bit of money, a little bit of time, and you get a huge result. Okay, and so that would have been a multiplier mindset 100 years ago. And just imagine if you could have maintained that attitude of alert, curious, responsive, and resourceful, and you could have maintained a constant paying attention to faster, easier, cheaper, and bigger over a 100-year period, how many times would you have multiplied as an individual and also as a business? So I want you to remember this model of the multiplier mindset because we can't go back 100 years. We can't turn history backwards. But that same multiplier mindset that would have been extraordinarily useful and valuable 100 years ago would be even more useful today. And the reason is because the world we live in now has multipliers everywhere around us. And this world is actually much easier to understand living here in the present day than it was for people observing the changes 100 years ago because we now know that the cause of all the multiplier growth in every area of life, in every industry, in every marketplace, is coming from one single technology, which is called the microchip. And what the microchip is, is a way of processing information in such a way that when it's applied to any kind of activity, any kind of device in our world today, Things get faster, easier, cheaper, and bigger. So what I'm going to talk about in this series called The Multiplier Mindset is first of all for you as an entrepreneur to develop an attitude where you are very alert, very curious, very responsive, and very resourceful to what the microchip is doing in the world around you in every area that's meaningful to you where you can take advantage of it quite quickly to achieve results that are faster, easier, cheaper, and bigger. So always remember this 100-year mindset and how incredibly powerful and influential you would be today if you had had a multiplier mindset 100 years ago. And just remember the incredible amount of wealth that would have been created, the incredible advantages, all the impact of your efforts over a hundred years, but now move it into the present and say with that same kind of attitude now applied to everything that's being transformed by the microchip, now you can move forward. And what we're going to examine in the other episodes of the multiplier mindset is how to take that framework that I've just established in a very few minutes here in this first episode, and we're going to apply it to every area of your entrepreneurial life, both your personal life and your business life, and just how you're going to multiply yourself and your company and everything and everyone connected to you for the rest of your life.